Yo, what's cracking YouTube? Just Jake and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the currently unreleased Shyster Deviant from the muscle category. And I hope you all agree, this is one motherfucking beautiful vehicle. Man, it's been a long time since we've had a really good muscle car added to the game. And this hits the button. It's, oh man. I'm really excited to get this customized. So without any further ado, let's get it into LS Customs and get this done. So here we go, my bros. As you can see, the Shyster Deviant is, like I've said, in the muscle category. And we're going to start this build with 100% body upgrade. And then we've got the race brakes. And for the bumper, front bumper. So the first option we've got is to remove that front splitter, which is something you don't tend to get as a first option in the bumpers. So it, that's, quite, that's quite nice, though. You can make it... You know, look a little bit more old school, which I like. And then we can just add the plastic splitter, the primary, then the secondary, which is, oh no, sorry, the primary again, but it's extended. It's a little bit bigger. Then we've got the chin, which is even bigger. Damn. And then the same sort of thing, I think, but in carbon. Um, yeah, I'm not a massive fan of any of them, to be fair. I think it looks better removed, so that's what we're going to do. Then we're going to go to the rear bumper. So we've got, obviously, the stock, then the stepped bumper. Then we've got the chrome. Mm, yeah, not a massive fan of that. It looks okay, but, you know, we're going to move on. Then we've got the primary. It's just a little chrome strip across the bottom part. And then we've got, so that's the plastic strip. And then we've got the primary bumper, which is the same as the stock and also the stepped. All right. Yep, that doesn't really make any sense. Then we've got the chrome bumper which is the same as the chrome bumper. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. And then we've got the carbon bumper, which just looks ridiculous on a, on a muscle car. Why would you don't put carbon bumpers on muscle cars? It just looks weird. So in my opinion, I think the stock one looks the best. So we're going to stay stock. Then we're going to go to the engine. We're going to get the level four engine upgrade. Then we've got the exhaust. So we've got the stock coming out of the side. Then we've got the rear exit which actually look quite good. They fit the rear bumper quite nicely. Then we've got the dual rear, and then we've got the squared side, which actually looks quite good as well. But because of the style of, the, of this rear bumper, and it's got the inserts, I, th I kind of feel like these exhausts should be there. So we're going to go with the dual rear. Then we're going to move on to the grill. Loads of options for the grill. What the hell? More options for the grill than there is been for anything else anyway we're going to go to the single grill really like that it's like a grill delete uh, the dark chrome single which actually looks really nice as well and then we've got the dark chrome slats second chrome slats i'm not a massive fan of those ones yeah again not really a fan the plastic grill looks quite good wow the phantom grill i love that that looks awesome and then the the plastic phantom. I think the chrome one's probably the best. And then we've got the dark chrome. Ooh. I like the dark chrome, man, because it's obviously black, but it's got that shine to it. And then we've got the classic grill, which is pretty much the same as the stock grill. Um, I'm in favor of the dark chrome, man. That looks awesome. So we're going to go with the dark chrome phantom. Then we're going to move on to the hood. What are they going to do with this? So it's... Same as the stock, but as carbon for the scoop. The vented hood. So nothing. Oh, wow. 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 The exposed charger, man. That looks sweet as hell. That looks really nice, man. So we're going to go with the exposed charger. Not even thinking about any other option. That looks awesome. So we're going to go with that bad boy. Then we're going to move on to the lights. We're going to go headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. Go skip an oil kit for this build. That brings us down nicely to the livery. See, that yellow print stripe actually looks quite classy. I like that. It looks nice. That's when they start going to the racing liveries. They kind of lose me. And they look a bit weird. But these classic stripes at the minute are actually looking really good. I like the look of that, man. That looks sweet. And then the negative. We've got the two-tone. Again, that looks quite good. That one's actually done quite well. Um, like I've said in previous videos, I'm not a massive fan of um, like racing liveries. But... 
racing liveries like this I don't really mind because they're not heavily sponsored they don't look over the top like this one I mean like this one it's not heavily sponsored but it's a little bit crazy you know it's a little bit over the top again with this one I don't like how the sponsors are just dotted around randomly yeah, but the low rider looks really cool man I like that there's some really nice options that is fucking hideous that is awful um, yes like I said really nice options I actually like this one the red and the white actually look really good together but then on the other hand I did actually really dig this yellow pinstripe um, oh man the two tone was good as well that actually looks really nice I think I'll go keep it simple though I'm just going to go with a yellow pinstripe for now um, obviously change it at a later date if we really want to but then brings us down to the respray so we are going to go primary colour I am going to go uh, go go metallic so formula red is actually really good in metallic that looks awesome man I actually really like that but then we've got the grace red which is a little bit darker which looks really really good sunset red has kind of got that bronzy look to it I actually really like that man that's got an old school look to it I don't think I've ever done a car metallic sunset red either yeah man I think we'll go with that sunset red metallic for the primary for the secondary we're also going to go metallic and purchase that sunset red. So next we've got the trim color. And as you can see, this is just changing the seats. Nothing else. Nothing else but the seats. It's a bit odd. Don't really know why it's not changing anything else. But, you know, what the hell. We're going to go graphite. Then we're going to move on to the roof. So we've got the livery roof. Okay, and then we've got the carbon roof. The carbon roof looks actually looks all right. You know, it don't look too bad. Um, but I'm not a massive fan of carbon or muscle. And that livery roof looks awesome. So we're going to go with that. I just love it how it's now color-coded with the rest of the car. Then we're going to go to the spoiler. Um, not a massive fan of spoilers on muscle cars. So the none option is actually really good. So even though there is a spoiler there, more of a spoiler than what there is with a smooth ducktail, um, we don't get any traction upgrade with, with the none option, weirdly enough. But when we do move down to the smooth ducktail, it does give us a traction upgrade. So if you're going to be using this for races, you do kind of need a spoiler. Uh, the smooth ducktail is probably the best option so far, but then we've got the notch ducktail. I'm going to say that now pushes the smoothed one out of the way. Oh, shit. What the f... Oh, I wondered where that went then. <laughs> We've got like a little um, little spoiler at the top of the, the rear window there. Actually looks quite nice. Um, I really like the boot lip. I really like the roof lip. And also the notch ducktail. All three of them are winners. And I'm really struggling now to what one I want to get. I think I'm going to go with the boot lip. Yeah, what the hell not. We can always change it at a later date but I'm going to go boot loop for now then we've got the suspension I'm going to get the race suspension transmission we're going to get the super transmission and turbo tuning now for the wheels guys these standard wheels are mint I don't really see any point in changing them um, because I know the, the, all the aftermarket wheels inside out and none of them I think are going to beat the way these look I know it's a bit boring, you know, some people might go, oh, you didn't change the wheels again. Because I don't tend to change the wheels a lot nowadays on my car builds because the cars that are being released by Rockstar are all really good. A standard. I mean, why would you want to change something that doesn't need changing? Why fix something that's not broken? These wheels look awesome. And I don't think there's any other wheels in the aftermarket categories which are going to look any better. So I'm going to stay stock for the wheels so then to finish off the build as always i'm going to go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint so you go my bros there is my build on the brand new company unreleased shyster deviant now this vehicle mate is oh my god it is so beautiful rockstar has done an amazing job with the vehicles in this update the new vehicles all of them that i've seen so far are amazing there's it just look so nice and like things that we haven't got in the game already this oh man hopefully this is going to be good in races um but like most of the other vehicles in this game um sorry in this update have all got super transmission 
which we don't tend to get with the other vehicles, like any other muscle car in the game. I can't think of any other car in the muscle category which you can get super transmission on um, from LS Customs. So in that way, I think this, these cars are going to be a lot quicker than the other cars that we've got in the game. And as you can see, it's hit 100 miles per hour with, without any sort of effort. So this is definitely going to be up there with, with the top muscle cars in the game. Oh shit, because it was snow and I didn't see that white car. Damn. <laughs> My bad. But it's very responsive. It feels a little bit slidey, but that's probably to do with the the snow. Um, but it feels responsive. It feels quick. And I think this is definitely going to be a really, really good car to purchase. Not only does it look awesome, it actually feels really good to drive as well. It feels quick, feels responsive. A little bit tail happy at times. It feels like I might want to slide out now and again. But overall, an awesome, awesome car. So guys, with that being said, I'm going to end the video right there. If you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios. Thank you.